Is there anybody there? What is your name, spirit? Hi, everybody! The March Hare! We're playing Ghostmasters! Ghostmasters is a game about scaring people. And to do this, we'll be getting a variety of ghosts to do the scaring for us. Of course, there are so many different ways to scare people. And so many different ghosts to help us do it. For example, this guy! He's got hooks for hands. <laughs> And he can tear himself apart. <laughs> Scared of spiders? We've got a ghost for that. Of course, what do ghosts do after they're done scaring people? They play pool. Didn't you know that? Also, spiders like donuts. And pina coladas. have been assigned to you. Treat them well. So we're going to be going through this game, scaring the crap out of everybody, and um, maybe we'll have a few laughs along the way. You are ready for your field training, young ghost master? We are taking you to the Kappa Lambda hey, that's not our sorority guess. house in Gravenville University. Only a small number of sorority girls are in residence at the moment. Ooh, girls! Scaring them all away should be a sufficient test of your abilities. <laughs> oh, scaring girls away is easy. Wait. All right, we're taking Monkey Man, Spider Face. Uh, let's see. Straight jacket man and uh, this ghost. Drive so let's get to the it. Kappa Lambda girls from their sorority house. All right, I won't tell them too far. This is the basement. Uh, it's like a pretty basic house. Let's check out this ghost. I don't know what its deal is. It's definitely not ours. But since I went and got myself sucked into this electric broomstick, all I can manage is this infernal sneezing! It'd be a different matter if I got free, mind you. I'd whip up a storm to wake the dead! Alright, looks like this ghost is trapped inside a vacuum cleaner. So, I think that if we set her free, she'll join our team. Sounds great, right? More ghosts, more scaring people. But I really need to start getting the actual scares done or I'm gonna start losing power. So I'm gonna set my spider in this room. Looks like he's dropping spiders on somebody who had the gall to turn on a radio. And I'll put the monkey man on this radio over here. 
you, monkey, destroy that vacuum cleaner. Yep, there we go. That worked. Alright. Looks like she joined our team, so now we can use her to scare people. Pretty straightforward concept, isn't it? So, essentially the way that you succeed at this game is you have your own army of ghosts, move them from place to place, tell them what powers they can use, and they just kind of do their own thing. I'm going to move the monkey man on top of the refrigerator. And I guess I'll put the straitjacket man on this rug here. Uh, each ghost has their own list of fetters, which is the things that they can be attached to in the mortal world. Uh, shivers, for example, can be put on anything that has emotional significance, which for some reason happens to be this rug. Uh, the witch, on the other hand, happens to only be able to be placed on thoroughfares. Well, things like Boo, which is the ghost I put upstairs, and the spider can be placed anywhere inside. So the game proceeds like this, your ghosts will use their powers to scare the mortals, and you scare them out of house, and that's how you succeed. Uh, for every scare you make, you earn a little bit more power for your power bar, and the more power that you have, the more powers you can give to your ghosts. It's pretty straightforward. Uh, <laughs> uh, each mortal has their own sets of fears, and... If you happen to be able to go after one of their fears, which right now we don't know the fears of this mortal, but uh, the scares will be more effective. Obviously. Ooh. Looks like this ghost is playing with telekinesis. What a jerk. Now, each mortal also has. There's a lot of cats going down here. Uh, three bars that indicate their status. You have the terror, which is in red, uh, it shows how close they are to running away. Uh, madness, which is in orange, and that's how close they are to just falling on the ground insane. And uh, the belief bar, which is the blue one, which designates how effective uh, your scares will be because it's how much they believe in the supernatural. Let's go ahead and scare some fools. Just kind of got to look over, make sure everything's going swimmingly. Since this is the first house, it's really just a basic objective of scaring everybody away. Uh, but as the levels continue, you will begin having more and more complex goals. Uh, occasionally you'll have a level or two where you just have to scare everybody away, but there's always something a little bit more complex than just throwing your ghosts in there and doing what you please. You're doing them much faster than this. Seems like a few of them are about halfway. There's one or two. Oh, there's two that are actually really close to leaving. Uh, driving people insane is very hard, but it's also very fun. I still can't give Mr. Shivers his most powerful ability, which is similar to Boo's Kinesis, but it's kind of a rank up from that. I think this lady is running away. She's also afraid of noises. Ah, yeah, she's running away. You can tell because the X will be blinking on occasion. If it's a full X, then that means that they're already gone. 